Yeah, it's embarrassing. I feel my cheeks getting a little red now, I was just thinking about it. But at least I did it. I tried it. And I am stronger for the experience. Most people who do anything with themselves come through embarrassing moments in order to get where they are in their lives. Because they take risks, they try things, in order to rule them in or rule them out. The only people who don't embarrass themselves in this life are those that take no risks, do nothing, and it's mostly out of fear. And then these are the very people who mock those who fail when they take risks. Even though most of the time, if not all the time, they envy the very person they're mocking. Because that person has the balls to take risks. To risk being mocked. To risk being laughed at by the group. To risk being pitied. In order to live. To experience. To risk it all for a life that's true to themselves. So it's filled with something more than one day in drudgery and mere existence. So many people. So many people. Sacrifice their very selves. Their deepest desires for the perceived safety of a life free from the eyes of ridicule and the teething comfort of social acceptance. So while it is embarrassing, and my life may end up being nothing more than a series of embarrassing moments, to me, or for me, their life is the embarrassment. And come the end, if you see it coming, who do you think is more likely to leave with the greater regret? And who's more, most likely to leave this world laughing? Whether it's through the sheer joy of having tried and tasted the sweetness of success or having tried and only ever met the heartbreak of failure. But each with the knowledge of having tried, of having lived your life as best you could true to yourself, the way you want it. The mocker, the critic, or the mocked, the chancer. Each to their own and all that. But I know which one I prefer. I'm going out laughing.